welcome back to Clash Royale. Today's video is for all the beginners that need helpful tips for starting out. Hey guys, we're here in Clash Royale. So, as I told you, we're gonna teach the new beginners how to play. First off, try to upgrade everything you have, like this giant, gotta upgrade it, right? You, you probably also got the goblin. Um, I think you should uh, um, replace the goblin with the fireball, because the fireball isn't that useful since you already have the arrows. So, also, I uh, think about the chests. Always try to unlock them. If you have a full chest slot, do not uh, attack another person, or else you might uh, miss a chance to get the magical chest on your 11th win, which is, you know, really bad because you're just starting out and you don't want to miss that chance to get it. Also, you would have got one of, you could have either gotten a prince, a baby dragon, a skeleton army, or a witch. I got the baby dragon. The baby dragon is like a tank, but like in the air. Um, the prince is more offense, so he like rushes in, but he needs like other, uh, he needs splash damage troops like the bomb. He's perfect with the bomb. Skeleton armies is a defense troop. Sometimes offense if you're skillful enough. And he can stop princes really easily. Or any other like hog riders. Like when you get the skeleton army. And you're like in arena 5 or arena 4. It's perfect for stopping hog riders. Also witches. Their splash damage. do like a wizard. But not as powerful. And can um, spawn in skeletons to guard her so like instead of the tower like a troop attacking her it will attack the skeletons so yeah you might have also gotten a pekka a mini pekka he's very useful i got the musketeer instead and uh pekka you put him behind a giant or you put a musketeer behind a giant it's perfect and a lot of people don't know that the knight is actually a good substitute for the giants when you don't have enough elixir. So you put the giant in with a archers, with some archers, a bomber, then you're golden. So we're just gonna attack uh, one person, see how it goes. Okay, this guy named Master, he doesn't have any clans since we just started. I would recommend uh, going up to 10 elixir. Then put the giant at the very back and wait for your elixir to blow up. She's gonna, or he or she's gonna attack with uh, the witch and she's gonna use arrows and attacks the king tower, which is awesome for us. So now there's two people attacking, but the witch isn't that powerful on its own. So that's why you gotta put, that's why um, you need something to back it up. So right now I'm gonna put a knight and then some musketeers and then some archers. So you have all this force coming in. And then the fireball, as you can see, doesn't do as much damage. He does a lot of damage to my musketeer, but the, the bomber does not get the chance to attack my musketeer since it's focused on the giant. So now I'll get my baby dragon in there, and he's gonna be like another substitute for a tank. So now instead of attacking my musketeer, which has low health, it attacks my baby dragon, and I just won. So that's why having tanks and then very uh, low health troops is really helpful. And one thing else to add, what you want to do is to get all these cards like uh, Spear Goblins, Gobs, Goblin Huts, Valkyries, Lightning, and the Goblin Barrel first and try to upgrade them as, uh, to like the max uh, coins you can spend like to the, like to level four or level five, I think that's fine. Cause then once you go to uh, Arena two and then Arena three and Arena four, it's harder to get those cards since there's so many other cards you can get. So that's why I recommend do not push, do not try to go uh, get 400 trophies off the bat. Just wait, be patient, and it'll all pay off. So right now I have two more chest slots. So right now I'm gonna try, um, um, for the people that want to use Fireball, I'll use a deck with that one. And I'll show you how to use a Fireball with the Giant. Okay, we don't have the giant, but we do have the knight, which I said is a good substitute. It's low cost and has a decent decent health. 
though um, using a musketeer with giant. So this is where you use the fireball. You get the musketeer to low health, and then you put some archers right there. So now there's not a lot of, um, it's not like a powerful troop attacking your tower and like putting to low health. It did do quite a lot of health to it, but that's fine. And as you can see, the skeleton army easily wiped out with the arrows, but he did get my knight. Now he's gonna use the fireball. Uh, to any of you new players, do not use the fireball to uh, kill off the tower. I think it's just disrespectful and like, you know, just, you know, just don't do that. It's like uh, bringing a gun to a knife fight, I guess. So right here, this is fireball right here. Then all the troops are uh, damaged a lot. Put the archers in there to be able to get the knights, but yes, okay, okay. You got it before the giant died. Um, hopefully they'll be able to put some damage to the tower or even destroy it. I know they got skeletons, that's why archers are here. And no, they won't be able to get it. So my role, I never, I could uh, easily fireball that tower and get it down, but I never do that. It's just disrespectful for me. So I'm gonna put the giant down below. Wait for town election. The giant down. Put the bomber right here. So then it goes after that knight. Because even though the bomber is more like splash damage, it still does a quite a bit of damage to um, other troops. Let me put the musketeer. Oh, he's gonna. He has a giant right there. I'll probably be able to fireball that. Put that giant to low health. Oh, I'll put a knight right here, attacking that. And hopefully the musketeer doesn't knock out my king tower. Put a knight against my musketeer. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do anything there because I don't gain any value from pushing. I will do a, a push with the giant, with the knight. Put a fireball right here. I think I, yeah, I got down the bomber. I will now use, put my other bomber down. That will be able to take down the skeleton army, I hope. Nope, not in time to save the giant, but that's fine. And yes, okay. The bomber knocked down the bomber. <laughs> then the musketeer was the musketeer, we got that. Here, I'm gonna push for the giant on the king tower, see if we can get any health, and then I am going baby dragon on the right tower. So let me just take out these skeleton armies, and then maybe we can get it right here. Right here, yes, I think we got it. Okay, the baby dragon's doing a lot of damage to the tower. Oh no, but then he uses fireball. So then put my archers right there, but they didn't go after that guy, the giant. So then I fireball the, um, the musketeer. Okay, the musketeer is down. I'll stockpile my troops up right here, but then he uses skeleton army, so we're gonna have to quickly counter that with arrows. And then the bomber's right there too. We got the, the arrows affected them too. So I'll use musketeer. Oh no, no, he uses fireball, of course. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna play. Um, I'm not gonna be disrespectful, and I'm gonna get the tower without using a fireball. That was <laughs> intense. Okay, so we beat Paggio, and we got a silver chest. So overall, this episode is just to talk about what you should do when you're a beginner, uh, how you should use the chest slots wisely, because once you get 11 wins, you get a super magical chest, but only if you have the free um, chess slots, like an open chess slot. So that's why you shouldn't, uh, that's why you shouldn't like battle when you have like full chess slots. Also, don't push like your trophies to go to 400 trophies. Try to like get all the cards in that arena first, like Lightning, uh, Goblin Burrow, Valkyrie, Goblin Hut, and the Gob, the Spear Gobs. Because I know some friends that are in like Arena 6 and they don't have the Lightning. And it's really hard for them to get since it's epic and the only way to get it, uh, no, not the only way, but like it's really hard to get it since it's Arena 1, Arena th 2, Arena 3, Arena 4, and Arena 5 uh, cards with epics and legendaries and stuff like that. And it's just like really hard when you have other cards in there and it's just an um, easier chance to get it when you only have like 10 cards. So also be sure to Put a heavy in front of what you're doing, so don't waste elixir. Like if you just put archers by himself or like a bomber by itself, that's just wasting elixir, and uh, having the other player 
have an, an elixir advantage because towers can easily shoot them down. I hope this video helps you get a head start. Until next time, choose the right.